So my name is Eric Osborne. I'm head of community at Bungie. Uh, I've been working for uh, the studio for six years, and I'm now working on Destiny. So Destiny is the next action game from Bungie. It's a shooter. Uh, players who have liked what we've made in the past, whether it was Marathon or Halo, are going to find a lot to love here. But we're trying to do new things in the genre. We're trying to uh, sort of expand our horizons and really deliver something that doesn't exist today. Uh, and so we're taking the shooter at its core, but we're adding RPG elements. You get to create your own character, go out in the world, earn armor, weapons, and gear that are really fun to use against great enemies. But the weapons you earn in campaign can be taken into competitive multiplayer, which is really cool. And we think that players who played the beta, which we had 4.6 million of them, really fell in love with their characters. So that's really important for us that people be, get to be, become something in our game. We've also populated our worlds, these big, rich, open worlds with great story, but not just enemies, but other players, which really makes the world feel dynamic. That's really an important element of our game. So in Destiny, you can jump in alone as a party of one if you want to experience the story by yourself and you don't want anybody yapping in your ear while you're experiencing a cinematic, you can absolutely do that. And we have uh, what we consider public and private zones. So those private zones are where you can have your own experience, your own crafted encounters with enemies, and you don't have to worry about anybody else jumping in unless you want to party up with your friends. You can do it all co-op if you choose. In the crossroad spaces, the public spaces, you run into other players. They might be out on their own adventures or gearing up. And in those spaces, we'll bring in really big enemies, really great events for you guys to come together, have a great moment, and then sort of go on your merry way. Competitive multiplayer is super important for us as a team. Uh, we have people who play every weekend. There's a little rinky-dink trophy that they wore over, you know, it's more about bragging rights than it is a little plastic trophy. Uh, so we wanted to build a really intense sort of throwback arena shooter. We want a skill to matter. So we do a couple of things. Since you can bring your own gear in, in the standard modes, uh, we uh, take away level advantages. So it's a level playing field and it's fair for everyone. You can still bring your weapons in and all their nuance, but we flatten that power. Uh, we also have uh, eventized modes like Iron Banner, which we demonstrated in the beta, where if you want to test out your best gear and you want to go in and see how that power can matter, you can go in there, we'll turn all those power levels on, and you can sort of uh, test your skill and your best gear. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we've had uh, more than a thousand internal tests that led us up to a friends and family alpha. Uh, our beta was really successful. We had 4.6 million players, 850,000 concurrent. Uh, we learned that our technology is, is pretty sound. We were building a lot of new things to support Destiny, so we wanted to make sure we tested that out really thoroughly. But we also definitely learned some things about uh, the sandbox. We got some great player feedback, and we're going to be making some tweaks uh, for launch. Yeah, I mean, it's been a long time coming. Some of the team have been working on it since 2009, the full team proper since 2010. So we rebuilt our engine from scratch. We went back to the drawing board. It's a brand new universe, a brand new IP. And in a lot of ways, it was kind of starting over. It was kind of scary for the team, but it's a great opportunity to uh, build a bigger universe, build something more ambitious than we ever had before. And uh, for the first time in a long time, talk to uh, PlayStation fans and bring them a game that they can enjoy. Uh, I mean, for me, it's just such a cool thing. I was a huge Bungie fan, uh, you know, back in the Halo era. That's why I work at the studio. I got connected with some of the guys from playing their games. So being here from the ground up, like from day one, and seeing it sort of all the way through to ship uh, feels like a pretty cool culmination, but it also feels like a really cool beginning. I'm, I'm glad I'm here at the start. Yeah. matter who you are, only what you will become. This is for the players.